In this video, I'll go over a quick beginner-friendly guide for the repository or third encounter of the Salvation's Edge raid. And a reminder, in this guide, I'm going to get to the point, so I give you the information quickly, but I'm also going to make sure that I give you enough information that beginners will be able to easily finish this encounter. So the key of this encounter is that you're going to be in a series of three large rooms. In those three large rooms, you're using the same mechanic where you're bouncing buffs back and forth as you did previously. One of the key differences here is you're going to have three different types of resonance and three different types of ways to close the conduit plate. So that's one thing that's going to become very important in this encounter. So again, divide up into your three groups of two. And again, your path is going to be varying. I'm going to put this map up. Your, ver your path is going to de vary depending on the room that you're in. So first room is pretty simple. It's just from the beginning to the end. When you get to second, third rooms, the end plates are going to be different for the conduit versus where you start. So that's something to really keep in mind that you're going to have to pay attention to. The other thing you're going to notice is that there are also symbols on this map that vary. And what that means is that the resonance for that particular, that particular shape is generally on that side of the room. So let's say in the second room, if you are in the middle, your circles are going to spawn on the left hand side. However, it is very likely that you're not going to need circle to close your plate on for that middle for that middle path. That means that you're, let's say it's triangle, you're going to have to go over to the right to pick up the resonance to close that plate. So with that said, let's talk about what a run looks like. So what you're going to do basically is that both of the people who are on a side, they're going to go up towards the front and they're going to try to kill a tormentor. That tormentor is what's preventing the plate from being energized. It's really important for the person who's going to be actually closing the conductor plate to get the last kill in the Tormentor, because when you do that, you get the Stolen Favor buff, which allows you to see what the particular conductor looks like. In other words, if it, is it triangle, is it square, is it circle? Once you know that, the sending plate, in fact, what I would do is, what I typically do is, if I'm the person ascending, I will go and try to help them knock it down as much as possible, and then I'm gonna haul my butt back to the beginning of the map, so I can go ahead and be really quick on sending the buff back to them one thing to keep in mind when you kill all three of the tormentors you're going to see turrets that are going to show up within the arena and those are very annoying so once all three are killed that's when it's going to happen some people will like to actually say that out loud so people will know but again just keep that in mind those will really knock you down really quickly if you're not careful now what varies a little bit here is that normally you would just go ahead run this a few times close the conduit right and be done so you have your your resonance the problem is when you close your conductor, at that point, you, you know, all that resonance goes away. Well, someone on the other side of the map may need the resonance that you have. So a couple ways to do this. Some people, what they do, and this is a very popular method right now, is that people will send it back and forth twice to generate a lot of resonance. And then after that, they will go and they will actually fail one of the runs so that temporarily it pauses, the, the resonance stays there, but it temporarily pauses the buff going back and forth. When you do that, you're going to get a big subjugator. You need to blow that down because if the subjugator is up, you can't actually do anything past that point. But at that point, you can have people kind of rotate around and find the resonance they need because the conductor is going to need a resonance that matches what they need to close. So they may have to run to the other side of the map to get that. Alternate way is you could just have designated people with the different types of resonance and they can just run to the other place to help close the plates. You'll just have to figure out what's best for your fire team. After that, you're gonna to want to go ahead and close your plates and go ahead and head to the middle to dunk. Now, a couple things to keep in mind with this. When you do that, the turrets are gonna show up again. They'll really wipe you down, so especially just make sure you concentrate on those. The other thing is, you can only get a maximum of three minutes and 30 seconds to go into the next room. So, because of that, it's not necessarily a requirement to get all the residents that you need right all three because you'll you'll easily get through that so if you're in, in a pinch if you're trying to get through don't worry about that there will be unstoppables that show up at the very end of the encounter that you have to blow in before you can get out of the room so one thing you can do is if you want to maximize time you can have people go kill those and, and that's when the doors will open and have a last person put the residence to give you the maximum three minutes and 30 seconds that you need after that, just continue to go through the second, third room to do the same thing. On the third room, it's very open. So a lot of times what we do is we just send everyone up front at the very beginning to help 
assisting getting the tormentors down. Again, making sure that the people who get the final blows, the people who are going to read the, because they get the stolen favor buff, are going to actually be able to tell what's on the conductor plate. Once you do that, you do everything as you did before. Finish up, and it's not a requirement to get a ton of resonance. So if you're running behind, go ahead and just get whatever, just get some basic stuff to be able to put into the final box. Because remember, this is the last encounter. You don't need to extend the clock that much. Unless, of course, you're running out of time. And that's the encounter. Again, kind of builds on the stuff we already had. The, ability, the understanding of getting additional types of resonance is going to play even a bigger role as you get further on in this encounter. Because, again... Everything is very shape-based throughout this entire encounter. You'll start to get the fact that there's all, there's triangle, circle, and square. And that's the video, guys. Hope you like it. If you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.